Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's word is pretty brief, but very important in that it is based upon this one simple question. Why are we afraid to speak or be associated with the truth of God around unbelievers? I often see people in videos or in the comments giving others the disclaimer of I'm not religious or I'm not into religion when speaking the truth of God's word. They will admit that the prophecies of the word of God are true or coming to pass, but don't want to receive any backlash from those who don't believe, so they hide under the guise of I'm not that religious. In this day and age, people can identify with anything they want, but are terrified of being identified as a child of God and a follower of Jesus Christ. Saying things like, I am not religious as a disclaimer out of fear will not keep you safe from the enemy. You are not protected when you give way or bow down to the enemy. That is when you are least protected. With this word, God is commanding us to speak boldly in Christ without fear. Let me ask you all a few questions. What will you do if you are here during tribulation and the powers that be start to question your faith to determine who lives and who dies? What will you do when they ask you if you believe in Jesus Christ or will you worship the Antichrist? What will you do when you have to decide between taking the mark of the beast or refuse it and be persecuted? God is showing me that how we handle the small tests of faith now, like receiving backlash from unbelievers, will be a strong indication of whether or not we can endure to the end of tribulation. Who cares if people see you as being a religious person or that you love Jesus Christ? Speak his truth with confidence and you will be saved. Do not deny him because denial of God will keep you from entering into his kingdom okay so before i end this word i have two scriptures for us to think about the first one is proverbs 28 verse 1 which says the wicked flee when no one pursues but the righteous are bold as a lion and the last scripture is Revelation 21, verse 8, which says, But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, that was the end of today's word. Please take this word in prayer for confirmation. I pray that you all will have a blessed and safe week. Take care, guys. Bye.